What is up my dear ladies and gentlemen, this is of course your dude LL here and today I'm gonna be reviewing this new GameStop wallet extension that is currently on beta so everything you will be seeing here today is still not the finalized version. There might be adjustments, changes or new features added on to it in future. Now GameStop is also working on their own NFT marketplace which to my understanding is gonna be releasing somewhere down this year or maybe early next year and it makes a lot of sense to them to do their own extension so basically people can easily log into their marketplace with this extension without too much hassle and obviously I do think that they're going to be supporting MetaMask as well. Now one of the things that really struck out my eye here is that they're going to be having support for Loopring so in the extension I can basically move my Ethereum into Loopring's layer 2 which makes me believe that they are going to be using Loopring's technology also on their NFT market place why otherwise they would choose this specific layer too it wouldn't make a lot of sense so expect that there is going to be some type of announcement or maybe there has already been regarding partnership with GameStop and Loopring and I think a lot of exclusive launches that are going to be happening on GameStop's platform are going to be happening on Loopring's layer 2 because GameStop is very aware of the high gas fees on layer 1. Now, there's also going to be an iOS version on, obviously, on iPhones later on for this wallet. And obviously, that interface might be a bit different from the extension one. But um, maybe we review it on the channel later on. So here they talk about Web3. Everybody knows what Web3 is. And here's some average transactions. So, okay, these are very falsified, by the way, for new people watching. Uh, I don't think loopring fees are that high. Our Ethereum highs are that far high right now. Maybe selling an NFT is going to be $15 right now and minting one might be $25 with a current cash fees. But these are very peak numbers. Loopring, I haven't used it that much, so I can't really say. But it's safe to say that loopring is much more cheaper than Ethereum. Now, the wallet has also inbuilt NFT viewer, which is very ideal, obviously, because MetaMask is still the most used NFT uh, or uh, like the Ethereum extension, but it still not is able to show any NFTs on the actual wallet. I think uh, the uh, mobile wallet is able to, but not the extension itself. And also, you're able to add any types of tokens as long as you have the contract address to the actual wallet. And here's some Q&A. But let's now jump into uh, the actual wallet here. So here uh, we have the password. It has a very, like, uh, I think if you are um, five minutes off, it tries to log you off, basically. And here I can see my balances. So here's my total sum of my wallet, my Ethereum. Here is a you know, transaction that happened where I moved uh, money to the loop ring. And there's some display bugs on, and this is by the way, caused by my browser. I don't think it's actually like anything related to uh, the wallet. And here are some, have some of my other assets here as well. There's the receive button. So there's QR code that is obviously very important. And you can also copy your address to the clipboard. Um, you can send me some tips right now, GameStop, if you're watching. <laughs> I used to be an intern at GameStop, actually, back in the day, but now they don't even operate in my country anymore. And here on the NFT tab, I'm able to basically see my NFTs. Some might be glitched. It does support GIFs and video animated things. And one of the cool features here uh, is, and once again, this flickering is not caused by the extension. It's uh, uh, browser-related or computer-related. And one of the things, cool things is I can send these NFTs to my friends or whatever address that I need to send them to. Also have the ability to choose, let's choose another NFT here. So like this one, or actually let's um, see what's the one that's not, not animated. So here's like a JPEG. And I also see the properties here. Uh, I think this appeals to most of the NFTs created. And I can move or bridge this NFT into layer two. And that's gonna be costing me $9. It's not the most cheapest thing. But what I'm basically saying is that this is very, you know, NFTs don't really like keep their value even if they're bridge, unless it's like a very specific NFT project that is known from being operating on multi-chain. But nonetheless, it's a very nice feature to basically move assets on Loopring. The better thing is to just basically launch your NFTs on Loopring altogether. 
There's also um, inbuilt swap, and that is between uh, OX API. Um, so that means I think there's going to be a very limited amount of tokens that are going to be supported here, but a lot of the most important ones. So if I want to do swaps very easily, I can do that as well. In the activity tab, I can see all the activities that basically have happened on the wallet. And when I want to move into Loopring, uh, I just click here and voila, we are basically now in Loopring. And there's some type of an account activation. Let me basically pay that. Um, and then the, here I can see NFTs. I don't have any NFTs on Loopring, so it will not show anything. Uh, here on the top, you can change your account. So I can change between the accounts. I can import accounts by private key and seed phrase. So that is very convenient. And apparently, like in MetaMask, you can only add the recovery phase once. Then every additional wallet that you add will be private key based. So in this one, I can add, if I only don't have the private keys, I can just add them by recovery phase, which might be more convenient for some people. So I like that feature. Now, there's also a lock thing. You can connect to a hardware wallet. In the settings, you can change the network. But the problem with the network is that there's only Ethereum and Goyle. And obviously when you change to, no, actually Loopring doesn't show as, as its own. But the fundamental problem here is that maybe I want to add like custom chains. Like this is only going to be a thing for people who act with only with Ethereum right now. So if you want to use Binance Smart Chain, this is not the wallet extension for you. Obviously, if you're going to be just a GameStop user who just uses Ethereum and Loopring, this could be a perfect wallet for you. Um, here you can add the custom contract addresses for if the tokens are not showing up on the main page. And there's exports and share analytics with GameStop. I don't know what data is going. you got to be always be careful about that. And then there's the default browser extension. So what these the um, websites basically reading first? in case you have. So in some cases, you're not able to have two Ethereum extensions on. So this might glitch in case you have MetaMask also installed in some cases. Now, and here's just a, like a quick example here. Um, we can uh, log in, not with MetaMask, but we can probably log in here with the uh, wallet here. I was able to log in earlier show more options trust over a touch it's not wallet um i might have to reboot the browser here so let's not do that let's try uniswap injected and okay we got kicked out Let's try this again. Oh yeah, we were we were on the wrong chain, so that's why we were not able to connect earlier. Okay, let's try to connect. Oh, connecting. Connect. Voila, we are now connected. Let's try with OpenSea here. Not baby MetaMask. What was the actual? Yeah, I don't remember here how I was able to connect last time. Well, apparently we are connected according to this. Let me change my account. Maybe that will change that. But I was definitely able to log in earlier. I just don't remember what did I actually click here. Well, whatever. Um, but yeah, it works out with most of the dApps and everything that you need to log in with that support the injected um, MetaMask Web3 login. Um, but it obviously won't be having as much options as maybe perhaps uh, other wallets like MetaMask basically have. But overall, it's a decent extension. Um, as I said, there's not really any other NFT wallets out there for Ethereum outside from XDeFi. And oh yeah, there's also what I forgot to show. Let me see where I was able to bridge the money. But but there's a there's somewhere like an inbuilt system for what's the the looping. You can buy also like deposit funds. Like I can use directly credit or debit cards through wire and ramp to basically buy 
more crypto. So that's also supported here. So that's pretty nice. But overall, um, I will be obviously doing a review out of the GameStop, you know, marketplace when it comes out. Not sure when, but um, we will see. And maybe they will be doing an AR drop. I, I wouldn't, you know, count it past us because it's really the people who kind of made GameStop relevant again when their stock was really dying. <laughs> but um, thanks for watching, guys. I will be seeing you guys on the next video. Cheers.